Dickinson, in North Dakota. Hmm. The cost of everything up here is pretty similar, except what is most important, the rent, if you're from out of town. Um, rents, the cheapest rent you will find is weekly. And that's $5.99, and you might think, well, why, why weekly? Because they're afraid of you skipping out on them because you owe them so much money at the end of the month. 2400 you go from making $13 to $15 an hour to making $25, you're going to gross varying on hours around $20, $2,500. But then the tax man gets a hold of you and you've reclaimed $15 to $1,600 and you've got rent that's $2,400 a month. And I've looked. Um, you can get a camper lot for $400 a month, but you got to have a camper. You can rent a camper in a lot for, I don't know, 800 to 1,000, but uh, you'd be living in a camper park. <laughs> so all the prices up here are pretty similar except for the, uh, the rent, and that's the killer. That's why they can't get enough people up here, even with wages, until uh, housing catches up with demand. Um, this is not the best place in the world for your average Joe from five to 2,000 miles away, unless you're being put up by your company. Then it's awesome. <laughs> but uh, that, that pretty much sums it up. The people up here are really nice. Uh, you can easily tell the natives from everyone else. And everyone else outnumbers the natives, I'm sure. That has to be irritating. I know in the south, we've had a lot of people coming from up north for years. My father came from Ohio. Um, but we always <coughs> the majority. Um, people in North Dakota are no longer the majority. The outsiders are. And, uh, but but the, the, the North Dakotians are really nice people, though. And most of the uh, people from outside are, too. <laughs> but some aren't. <laughs> that, that's pretty much all I want to say.